Sebastian, uh, thank you so much for joining. Um, tell me a little bit of what uh, Transpod is, um, because it's so new. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's so new. It's uh, so morning. Uh, thanks for calling. And uh, so Transpod today, uh, it's a startup company which uh, we started to work on Hyperloop. Uh, it's been already always uh, our goal uh, to uh, to work uh, on this topic, uh, out, let's say in a professional way. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've been looking. I've been looking at the Elon Musk Alpha document since 2013, mm -hmm. and. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I was kind of looking at the right window to uh, to start uh, working on this project. And uh, when they came up, came out last year with the competition, that was kind of uh, okay. You have your window, so uh, let's do it. Um, so it was good that uh, they uh, initially opened that to non-student and uh, and student teams, so we're capable to start. Uh, even if initially part of the team, uh, half of the team, even more than that, were uh, students. Uh, as we worked with the uh, University of Toronto. Mm -hmm. So we started that challenge and it was good in a sense that uh, it was providing uh, milestones and, uh, and a framework to, uh, to start working on this topic. Mm -hmm. And after the event in uh, Texas last January, we just said, okay, uh, let's, uh, let's move forward. Um, we didn't see lots of benefits uh, to go to California from our side as we wanted. We want to focus on the full-scale model. And on the other side, uh, SpaceX kind of changed the rules a little bit. Uh, like a non-student team, we're not as welcome as at the beginning. <laughs> so we said, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, and it was, it's kind of an evolving uh, competition. And yeah, there were so many different teams. And it just yeah. happened so quickly. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, yeah, and they. That's cool. Uh, I guess uh, some students' teams like MIT or the Delft University did uh, really good work. Uh, let's see uh, what they plan to do after the competition, if uh, they're going to just uh, switch teams and let the chance to other students, uh, younger ones, to do it again with SpaceX. Is SpaceX going to do it uh, one more time? Is it going to happen this year too as well? Because I, I think that the date has not been announced uh, officially yet. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it's an interesting journey. Uh, I guess it was a great opportunity to participate uh, to that competition. So now uh, let's move on. And uh, so we, we've officialized the startup, uh, Transpod. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll propose so one of the next objective for us. It's to propose the first concept at the next uh, international rail show in Berlin next September. So, uh, cool. Be, yeah, well, and HDR and HTT uh, should be over there as well. So uh, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're definitely the, the third kind of stealth group. Um, that, uh, yeah. that, um, so that would be great uh, to have a third yeah. group uh, out there. Um, yeah, so you're, you're based in uh, Canada. In Toronto, if I'm yep. if I'm not mistaken, so um, I I presume you would like the Hyperloop to be built from Toronto to Montreal. <laughs> yes, um, and I, it's 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 interesting that the news which came out uh, last week and even again this week and it's going to continue. Yeah, Canadian people are really eager to have uh, to have something much better between Toronto and Montreal, which is really great news for us. Um, I'll be honest with you, initially we're targeting uh, more like probably HDI and CT, some routes in, uh, in the Middle East or China and uh, see how we could, uh, could do uh, something over there. And uh, we, we have a new government here in Canada, uh, yeah, it's been a few months now. Uh, they've announced the budget uh, last week. Uh, there's a, a huge emphasis on infrastructure, improve uh, the current transportation system. Uh, so there's definitely an opportunity here in Canada. And if we could, uh, if we could implement uh, a first uh, Hyperloop uh, corridor between uh, Toronto and Montreal, yeah, definitely I would prefer to do it here rather than uh, uh, yeah somewhere else in the in the world. So um, exactly. yeah. yeah. Um, Exactly. And I mean, even though I would like to have the Colorado Hyperloop along the Front Range, <laughs> but I would gladly take it in Toronto <laughs> to Montreal. That's absolutely fine with me. Um, yeah. So what, what made you choose to work on the Hyperloop? What, what was, you know, what was your main 
um, inspiration to work with such a new technology. Yeah, I was looking. Yeah, sorry, I was looking at um, uh, starting a company uh, for uh, yeah, not many years, but yeah, anyway, let's say many years. Uh, but it it was not. I didn't want it to start a company for the sake of starting a company and uh, building cans or I don't know, opening a shop or it was not kind of. I have an I was uh, I own a uh, background. I'm an engineer myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of okay, uh, Seb. Uh, that would be really cool to uh, to start working um, on a, a new tra a transportation system. It could have been an aircraft or new aircraft. Or, uh, but when you look at the the business case or the way to do it yourself, like the entry ticket is uh, is quite expensive. It's not uh, it's not with few hundred bucks or going to the bank and uh, asking for a few thousand who's going to work. Uh, so when that so. And definitely working on something new, which can make a change. Uh, uh, yeah, that's yep. that's one of the dreams. So it's kind of a um, when I said that the stars are aligned and so on. When that concept went out, because I was looking at uh, even ET3 before, I said yeah, that's a cool one and so on, but never been convinced about the way they wanted to do it. Like. Uh, Magle, 100% vacuum, so okay, economically speaking, it's yep. kind of tough. Yep. And uh, <clears throat> when uh, Elon Musk proposed that, uh, similar concept, a bit tweaked to make, to make it feasible, and uh, sending a message like, whoever wants to do it, feel free, I'm too busy, it's a good concept, <laughs> it, it, it can work. And yeah, so let's let's do it. Let's do it. And uh, I agree with him when he says that uh, we've seen cars, trains, boats, and airplanes since many years now, and it's time to propose something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And having background in aerospace, I'm working even now in the rail industry. Uh, it's, it's really the more we work on it, and the more it's, uh, it's become obvious that it's the new mode of transportation. Uh, it's really an hybrid between an aircraft and a train. Uh, uh, using technologies from both sectors, uh, so let's do it. Uh, we have a huge opportunity now. Uh, still, it's many challenges, but it's it's really interesting, really interesting, and that's the, that's clearly what I wanted to do uh, since the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it is a fascinating um, uh, project. It's not just like designing a new door handle for a car or something. It's yeah, it's a very wide systems project, and that's that's huh. that's what attracts a lot of people I think um, yeah. so how can how can uh, the internet and the world uh, support transpod um, as a how can we help you uh, so um, if you have money <laughs> <laughs> feel free to uh, we can discuss uh, <laughs> after the, the interview uh, so how you can support uh, we need there's lots of work and um, this is what uh, Elon Musk is doing, uh, HDI, HTT. There's lots of work to educate um, uh, everyone uh, to make understand, uh, make them understand that it's not science fiction, that it's here, it, it's coming, and uh, it's feasible, the technology is here. It's just a matter of uh, uh, putting enough uh, brain hours uh, to do it. So in terms of support, yet yeah, to keep going, uh, keep uh, communicating on Hyperloop, keep communicating on how it works. Uh, just tell people that okay, we 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 have enough of uh, those trains which uh, don't really go fast or as fast as we want. Yeah. Uh, let's put something really different. Uh, let's be innovative. Uh, let's let, let's make a change. And on top of that. Um, we, yeah, we we in the process to confirm that uh, it can work uh, without any uh, um, fossil uh, energy. So uh, let's uh, let's make a, a new technology which is a green tech, uh, good for the planet, uh, good for the people, economically, if, uh, with the objective to uh, bring to people what the uh, internet brought to uh, information. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of a it's a no-brainer. Let's let's move on to something uh, new and yeah. uh, valuable. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I, I, those are exactly the main bullet points that I always try to share um, with people. That it's safer. It's you know, it's greener. It's you know, faster than other transportation. And yeah, those are my main things too. 
Um, and then, well, yeah. Yep. Any anything else to add or? Yeah, we'll have a we'll have a, so working to some uh, video contents uh, to okay. explain. Uh, uh, how it works. Uh, we'll have lots of material between now and uh, September. Oh, uh, I'll be uh, more than happy to share that with you and so you can uh, spread that across your network uh, to uh, yeah, keep going. Uh, so today uh, um, we, we're in the process yet yeah, to secure, not to secure, but to uh, uh, to get everyone understand that uh, we are the third player, yes. there's, defi there's definitely play, uh, um, rooms uh, for other players. The market is huge. Uh, we got to we got to yeah do it and, and work on that. Awesome. Well, yeah, I would be happy to help out, spread the message. So thank you so much, Sebastian, uh, for you. taking some time in your holiday uh, Friday morning. <laughs> Yeah, I got I got some work to do on uh, on Hyperloop, so don't yeah. worry. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much. I'm. Uh, we'll talk again soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs>